this is your child's my way. birthday. It's actually for 18 months and up. So this was designed, um, believe it or not, it was invented. It was designed completely in-house, which is really cool for us. And you roll this delightful cube. In fact, if you have one there, we'd love for her to play too, which oh actually is only about this big. Do you want to give it a try? You want to roll? General, all you have to do is pick any one of those up and give it a good throw. Go ahead. Go ahead. I Take promise it it's it. totally safe, non-toxic. Roll it. Whoa. Nicely done. Okay, so you rolled red. So I'm going to take a red card here. And can you do a silly dance? <laughs> I love it. That's great. And that is the entire game. That's why we say it's your child's first game. So, And it comes with this little plush cube. It's, it's really quite cool. These are all physical things in the red. These will all be different colors. So it's very basic, but you're still learning. These are all numbers. Do something a certain number of times. These are all emotions. Make a happy face, sad face. I guess that's a sad face right off the bat. I'll probably switch that. These are all body parts, animal noises. They all slip into this pocket on the side. And this is machine washable. That's kind of all the magic that is rolling play. Wonderful. And but what does that usually go for? This usually goes for $20 retail. You can find it in all the major retailers. Did I show you anything for our older? Wonderful. That would kids. be great. Yes. All right. I'm going to start you off with, let's do some family games. This one is called Distraction. This is a super cool memory game. The way this is played, I'm going to tuck this under here. So we all have a stack of cards. Okay. And the idea is to be the first player to get rid of all your cards. How do you do that? Well, I turn one over and I say six. Then you would go next and you add to this stack. And you, I'll circle back to why that's a different color in a minute. And you have to say six, four. So this guy flips the next one over, or you, I'm going to do this for you, and they have to say six, four, five. So you're trying to remember a sequence of numbers that's building. Now, in a moment, I will occasionally flip one over like this. And that means before I have to say, does anybody remember? Six, four, five. Six, four, five. Okay, we're going to come back to that. Before I say that sequence, I have to draw a distraction card, and I have to say, who is the tallest person playing the game? <laughs> one, one of the two of us. Now, there's no wrong answer here. There's no penalty. You just have to read the question out loud, and you have to give an answer. Now I have to say six, four, five, one. Now, we continue on like that until one of you wiseacres thinks, hey, I don't think he has it right, so you can challenge me, in which case I get one chance to recite it again and do six, four, Five, one. So I win the challenge, which means you, the challenger, has to take the cards. And the winner is the first person to get rid of all their cards. Gotcha. It's a lot of fun. It's a little goofy. We tried. We wanted to take something that's very cerebral, like improving your memory, and just add a little fun twist to it. Right. And really, it's the questions that make this. We have. Uh, this was a big hit with the kids because you know you're, you're trying to remember it, but then at the same time they're like, I do want to think about what my favorite movie is and tell everyone else. Like, Great. This one is Swish. This is another really really cool one. The idea here is to. Oh, uh, sorry. Excuse me one sec. They are right under here. So the idea behind Swish is to win cards by making swishes. The logical question then would be, what's a swish? Mm -hmm. A swish is any time I can take two or more cards and place them one right over the other so that all the dots go in all the holes. So that is a two card swish. And I will have won those two cards from my pile and we deal out two more. Now this is an all play game, so we're all racing. So you're not allowed to touch the cards until you see one, and then you have to say, swish. So if we're searching, and I'm looking for one, you see any tan? Swish. Are Go for twos? it. Yeah, well, we're doing whatever. Oh, right. You can do a one if you saw it. There's, There's, There's definitely at least one out there. You see it? Go for it. Oh, yes. And he spotted it. Well oh, done. Yeah. So you add that to your score pile. 
and then we deal out two more. Now, if you are terribly clever, Smish. you can do. <laughs> or if you're ah. Tanya, she's my ringer. <laughs> And one of the really super neat things about this game, if I can find a great example, is if I'm getting fancy, I can call Swish and do something like that. Oh, wow. That is a three card Swish. They add, which means, the, and the advantage to that is I win not two, but three cards. Right. Now they go, mathematically they'll go up to 12, though I've only heard of that in storybook and song. <laughs> Never actually seen it done. But what's really neat about that is if the three of you are playing, and I'm not making any assumptions here, but just for explanatory purposes, the two of you could limit yourselves to three, four, and so on card swishes, while giving this lovely lady the opportunity to steal them right out from under you. Which means she'll have just as much chance of winning, and you will have just as compelling you, game. You freeze and she gets right. right. Understood. So that's us. Can I show you anything else? And what does that usually run for? This one is $12.99 retail, $10 here today at the show and tomorrow, and again with the sale, the promotion online. Online. Perfect. Okay. Is the Zingo Sight Words new? The Zingo Sight Words is new. That is, if you're familiar with our classic game, Zingo. Yes, we have Zingo. Zingo. Okay, you have Zingo. This is brand new this year. It's part of our new educational line, and it plays exactly the same way that Zingo does. There's no different. Instead of, in, uh, except that instead of clever pictures and words, you're actually playing with sight words. And this, uh, they come right from the Dolch list. If you're familiar with that, that is the, the core standard for where those sight lists come or sight words come from. And it's seven. I'm sorry, it is 36 of the words that are most commonly used and taught from the site business. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And what does that usually run for? Uh, the $19.99. The same as actual Perfect. Zingo, except again, 15 here for the show. Wonderful. Gotcha. Math dice. What are math dice? How do those work? Math dice. This is cool. Okay, so original math dice. It's actually one of our best sellers. This one, and I'll get you before you ask. This is actually seven ninety. No, I'm sorry. This is uh, five ninety nine or seven ninety nine for math dice. So I give it a roll. This is another all play game. So for regular math dice, I just rolled these. And if I multiply those two numbers together, I get seven. That's our target number. So we are trying to get as close to seven as we can using all of those numbers. Now you do have to use all of them, so I can't just say five plus two. So I've really got to sit here and think about, all right, and feel free to, to trump me on this if you like, but I'm gonna say six minus two is four plus five would be nine. That's as close as I am, I believe can be gotten. Now I have to shut my mouth until one of the rest of you figures out a way to beat me. You can use any math facts, power squares, formulas, whatever, as long as you only use those numbers. Oh. Math Dice Junior, this was oh, such okay. a colossal hit. six is 12 minus five. <laughs> Nicely done. There you go. Okay, so he actually would beat me on that round. Now, Math Dice Junior was a twist on, because this is, was a big seller for us. This is now trumped it, because everybody loves math. This one is a little easier. Here's your target number is two, and you have to get to two using any of those dice. Any. Okay. So the obvious one right off the bat would be one and one equal two. So those dice are out of play. Now you would try to make two with any of the remaining numbers. And what happens there is because I use these two dice, I move two spaces. So you just use any chains, penny, paper clip you have around and basically be the first person to get to the finish for the short game or the finish for the long game. And it's a little bit more versatile for a younger player who's just starting to learn their math facts. It's not quite as cutthroat. Wonderful. That's a great idea for kids. Yep. Perfect. Well, so glad you like it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you so uh, much for stopping by. Big fun games. Hi. Thank you very much for coming by. And please come down and see us. We'd love to play some games with you.